YouTube. I'm going to use virtual dub to show you how to make it fit within YouTube's 100 megabyte limit. So, what I have right here is I have a video, DVD film on video, which is 2.43 gigabytes, uh, definitely bigger than 100 megs. And YouTube recently put out a uploader that you can accept up to 1 gigabyte, but we're still way too big for that. So, the program I'm going to use is called Virtual Dub. Uh, simply Google it, and you can download it. It'll download it to your desktop in a zip file. I just extract that to a folder. So this is what you're going to get when you open up Virtual Dub. Just click on the executable right here. Okay, so this is Virtual Dub. Go to File, Open Video File, uh, go to where you have this giant video saved. Okay, so here it is. First thing we're going to do is resize the video to get it down to basically half of what it is right now. Go to Video, Filters, hit Add. We're going to go down to Resize, hit OK. Now, um, for Aspect Ratio, hit this option. YouTube uses a 4 to 3 ratio. This is what your television uses also up here for absolute pixels. Um, what YouTube is currently recommending is 320 by 240. There you go. Hit OK. Hit OK again. There you go. Now you see your output video is smaller. Hit video. Click on, make sure it's on full processing mode first, but click on compression. Now, scroll down and we're going to use XVID MPEG-4 Kodak. If you don't have it, uh, definitely very useful to have. Uh, currently YouTube is recommending you upload videos made encoded with DVIX or XVID and I prefer XVID. Uh, just simply Google it and it's very easy to download and then just basically download and run it. Okay so click on configure leave that at simple pass at L3 single pass is cool. Now this is the big part this is this is what's going to determine the output file size of your video. How what the bitrate of the video is. How do I know what bitrate to put in here? Well, they have a built-in calculator. So, uh, target size is going to be 900,000 kilobytes, which is 90 megabytes. Uh, this is what really matters, how long your video is. This video is, I believe, 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Leave that at 29.97, and everything down here is cool. Hit OK. Hit OK. Hit OK. Audio. Make sure you're on full processing mode. Hit audio. Hit compression. We want MPEG layer 3, which is MP3. 48 kilobits per second, which is usually, which is good quality and which is usually standard. Hit OK. All right. Here it comes. Moment of triumph. File. Save as AVI. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Okay, well, virtual dub finished rendering, and the finished files on my desktop, it is 18.4 megabytes. Now, this is small enough that you can even send this through Gmail if you wanted to. Uh, let's check out the quality on this guy, which isn't too bad, considering the fact that it came from a 2.4 gig file down to this. All right, and that's just simply how to get a large video file, in this case one rendered out of Adobe Premiere, onto YouTube. Just keep remembering though that the key is to make sure that you've got XVID configured correctly. Make sure that you got that video time correct, make sure that everything looks good, and you are good to go.